All right. So for Art 53 hand building students, you're finishing up your T-bowls today. And our next assignment will be coil building. So on that T-bowl, you, you fastened one coil for your wall. And you fixed that coil to the floor. And that was kind of a very short little coil pot. So now we're going to make really tall coil pots. And they're going to be somewhere between 18 and 24 inches in height. A good way to start, and everybody should do some research, and this is an ancient vessel from Greece. This one's really old. This one's also a vessel from Greece that's not as old. Now these just happen to be two Greek pots from different time periods, but they're both made before the common era, so over 2,020 years ago. Find images, and I want to know your sources. Is this a verifiable source, like some kind of a museum or a university? Somehow, I want it to be a credible image that's going to tell us where it comes from and how old it is. Because if it's old, it's usually built by hand. And if it's hand built of clay, it's usually this beautiful shape. So we're going to focus on shape and scale through this coil building project. Before I get going, uh, if I'm to build this pot for an example, and I'll, let me tell you about a few things. So I would choose to do a pot like this versus a pot like this. This one has a narrow foot, but it's got this flange down there. And I've seen a lot of people try to build these to the specs of, because we're gonna try to reproduce this shape. But try to avoid choosing a pot that's got some kind of a flange. This would be a much easier thing to to build because it doesn't begin with a trophy-like foot on it. So again, you don't have to choose a Greek image. You can look at Chinese, African, Egyptian, Middle Central, Central and South America, pre-Columbian. Anyway, this is the one that I would choose. Notice I've scaled this out. So if I want to build this at 23 inches high, I've given myself all these marks that tell me that when it's two inches tall, it's going to be four inches wide. And when it's nine inches tall, it's gonna be six inches wide. By the time I build to the widest part, it's 10 and a half inches tall by then, and it needs to be 11 inches wide. So I've kind of charted this measurement, and you can scale this out with a ruler, and I can help you with that. Or you can do it on your own and then show me, and I can tell you if that looks correct. It just gives us many points along the way as I'm building this pot back here. I'm gonna just be using a ruler to check. All right, at two inches, am I four inches wide? And then when I get up to 10 inches, is it 11 inches wide, you know? So get that image printed out. It should be a profile. I don't want aerial shots. You need to be able to view this pot from the side. So we get a strong profile image with a high contrast between the form and the background. So this is a dark form on a light background, so that you can see that shape clearly. And check with me before you start building. All right, I'm gonna get my stuff together in order to do the coil.
coil building demonstration.